we have the Anshir 16 inch uh, electric bike right here. This one has a 36 volt battery right here. Push a button on it and show you the readout of how much power it has. Hub, sent, hub, hub motor is 250 watts back here. Disc brakes right there, right there. Metal fenders. You believe that? Metal fenders on a sub 500 bike. This was bent when I first got it, but it's metal and it's bent right back out. It took me a second. My Rad Runner, 99 bucks for, for plastic. Um, also has a, has a little phone holder right here, expandable one. Bell, throttle, there's the hole. Brakes. Cheap little $2.99 Alibaba, AliExpress mirror I threw on there. Uh, metal seems pretty good on it. Seat is very soft, has a spring on it too. Let's take the battery out. Oh, before we take the battery out, turn it on, push the button. Looks exactly like the original Rad Runners too. I think this is just a norm in the field. Um, push to keep pushing it. They go through the different speeds for pedal assist speed. On it, you can have none. Push the button again, it goes off. Pretty simple, right? Um, let's take the battery out real quick for you guys. Battery, there's a button back here. Turn it off, because it's locked in place. Pull up, and then come out. Now, be careful when you drop this down, do not put your fingers anywhere. That will drop it right there. Push it down. If you're gonna have to use any pressure to push it, just push on the side because you will pinch your fingers and cut them. Turn it on. And the key on this one has to stay in there for it to, to come on, actually. Lock this back in place. I have it just like that. It's 250 watts. The seat goes up higher. I'm six foot, 205 or so-ish. Um, can I ride it? Yeah, I can ride it. Fold it in half. It has a lever right here that locks in place just like that. Unlock it, pull it, and then you pull up like that. You can hear it. I can't do it with one hand, but sit down. Then you pull up on it, just like that. Voila, and it hit a fold, so you can do it the whole way. Just like that. You can lock it back in place. Same thing. Put that back. Just like that. You can tighten it up too to make sure if you're worried about it somehow folding on you. 250 watts on it. Um, regards to this, this is for my spouse. This is her. She rides this. She rides it on two. She's 110 pounds, 5'6, I believe. 5'5, 5'6, 110. 110-ish, she could weigh less than that, I don't even know. Um, she says she rides it on two because she feels like she's flying on when she hits, puts it on the three, level three pedal assist. Uh, she can't really keep up with me when I'm trying to fly on it, of course, because she's scared to ride on three, three. She'd probably do okay with me more so. Um, this one right here, though, for someone who's six foot or taller, you can ride it you know, if you're taller, but the problem is that 250 watt motor. When I ride it, I feel like I'm straining. I think I would wear it out too quickly. So I would recommend, I would not recommend this for a, a male or a woman that's over 150, 160 pounds, to be honest with you. I hope this helps someone. I think it's good though for the price, but larger people, me included, you might be a little too much for that little 250 watt uh, motor over the long run. Anyway, I hope this helps you. But if you know you want to get into electric biking and all that stuff and you're on a real low, low budget, by all means get it, get it for yourself. You can at least learn on it, same as buying a new motorcycle. You usually start with an old crappy one and go on. And I'm not saying this is crappy, I'm just saying it's definitely a smaller one. Hope this helps someone. Anyway, just for Panda out, thank you.